Now, in continuation with the same question of 12.7, part B. The part B given to us goes like this. 2 hydroxy, 1, 2, 3, propane tricarboxylic acid. So, let us understand the structure given to us. This is containing pro and it is A. So, again saturated. This is containing 3 carboxylic acid attached to it with respect to all the 3 carbon atoms. 1, 2, 3. Not only that, with respect to second carbon atom, this structure is also containing the hydroxyl group or the alcohol OH as the functional group. So, let us first write the structure based on the name given to us. So, the first carbon atom will be linked with 2 hydrogen, not with 3 hydrogen because this in turn would be linked with COOH that is the carboxylic acid. Then, the second carbon atom. Here, we should understand that there is a hydroxy group and there is also a carboxylic acid group. So, I put the hydroxyl down and then COOH above. Then, there are no hydrogen attached to this carbon. Tetravalency is fulfilled without that. Then, the third carbon would be like the first carbon here. So, CH2. Even this is linked with COOH, carboxylic acid. So, we have written the structure of 2 hydroxy 1, 2, 3 propane tricarboxylic acid. Either we name it or put the locate from our left or from right, as far as this structure goes, it is going to be same. So, let me just do it from our left side. 1, 2 and then 3. So, this is the complete formula. Now, keeping this in mind, let us write the condensed formula of this. So, how will be the condensed formula? There is a CH2. So, let us write CH2. CH2 is attached with COOH. So, because it is in the branch of the chain, we need to write COOH in the parenthesis that is inside the bracket. Then there is carbon atom. To the carbon atom, there is COOH as well as OH as the branch of the chain. So let me just put like that only OH in one side and in one more parenthesis the COOH. So we completed this also. Then what else is left out? This. So let us write that CH2. And what is attached to CH2? There is the COOH. So this would be the condensed formula of the structure given to us. Now based on this, we are supposed to write the bond line formula. How would be the bond line formula for this particular structure? Let us write it here. Now, 1, 2, 3. So, 3 carbon atoms are fixed. And what else is there? With respect to first carbon atom, there is COOH. With respect to second carbon atom, there is COOH. Not only that, it is also containing OH. 1, 2, 3. So only this much. And what is this third carbon atom containing? This is also in turn linked with another COOH. So therefore, this is the bond line formula of the structure. 2 hydroxy 1 comma 2 comma 3 propane tricarboxylic acid. Then what are all the functional groups we see here? One is the hydroxyl group which is present in the form as OH. Then the second functional group we see is the carboxylic acid. So this compound is containing 
two functional groups. One is the hydroxyl group. The other one is the carboxylic, carboxylic acid. So, COOH.